You know, it's a real pleasure to win a game using opening traps. However, creating traps at any cost shouldn't be your priority. And of course, you should distinguish between bad traps and good traps. And apply only good traps. What's the difference between bad traps and good traps? Let me explain. For example, you make a trap and your opponent makes a good move and avoids it. And then your position becomes worse. This is a bad trap. Now, another situation. Imagine you create a trap. If your opponent gets into this trap, then you win the game or just win the material. But if he makes a good move and avoids it, then your position is still good or even becomes better. This is a good trap and I want you to use only good traps. This is Fidel Master Victor Neustroyev and the list of seven best chess opening traps Proven and tested. 2020. Trap number one. Karakan defense. E4, C6, D4, D5. And in this position white has several moves, including E5, which is considered to be the best. However, Knight C3 is a strong move. Uh, D takes E4, Knight takes E4. And here black has two options. To play bishop F5 or Knight to D7. If bishop f5, then knight g3 is a good move. But if knight d7, then we can create a trap. Uh, and this trap is a good trap. We play queen e2. What's the idea? I believe maybe 50% of players, uh, of club players in this position would play knight g to f6, which is a critical mistake because after knight d6, the game is over. However, even after e6, white can get a good position. Bishop f4 to threaten knight d6 or bishop d6. Knight uh, d to f6, castle queen side, knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen f3, with the idea to play on the king side to initiate a pawn march. This position is approximately equal, I would say, maybe slightly better for white. Trap number two, a trap in Sicilian defense e4 c5 and in this position uh, a6 or knight c6 can be played it will be Khan or uh, Paulson but knight f6 is another move and uh, for example a beginner can play e5 in this position because usually it's a good idea to uh, push the pawn to chase the knight in the very beginning and force the knight to go for the second time but uh, here queen a5 check and black just captured the pawn. However, if uh, white plays a good move, something like knight c3, which is a really good move in this position, then we can play knight c6. And then we have a choice, either to play a Svechnikov variation or another line in case if knight takes c6, d takes c6, then e5, knight d5, knight e4, queen c7, f4, queen b6, c4, bishop b4 king e2 this is the theoretical uh, line uh, recently played uh, by sergey karak uh, and uh, the second thing that can happen is sveshnikov variation knight db5 threatening to play knight d6 that's why d6 bishop f4 e5 bishop g5 a6 knight a3 then uh, b5 and in this position white has two moves either bishop takes on f6 or knight goes to d5. If, for example, bishop f6, g takes f6, knight d5, f5. This is a well-known variation. It's playable for both sides. Number three, Slav defense trap. And if only I meet this move order, I try to apply this. Knight c3, knight f6. Starts like an ordinary Slav defense. Knight f3 is the most popular move, but uh, it's very often when white plays bishop g5 in this position. And then d takes c4 is the main line, that's okay if you play it, but there is another interesting move, knight e4. We uh, want to gain uh, a tempo by playing this move. And of course he has to take. And then you can realize that the bishop on g5 is not doing anything. Here I want to ask you, what do you expect from white to play in this position? An ordinary player uh, would play e3 without any thinking because e3 is a logical move it helps to continue pieces development 
However, then again, queen a5. And without a piece, it's time for white to resign. And it's very often when uh, even uh, such strong players as masters get into this trap. So try to remember it. And if Slav defense is uh, a part of your opening repertoire, you can play knight e4 in case of bishop g5. For example, if here instead of playing e3, he makes a normal move like queen d2, the position is still fine and good. I would say approximately equal bishop f5, e3, knight d7, knight e2, then f6. Then if bishop goes through f4 or h4, we play e5. Bishop g3, yes, we have double pawns, but we control the center. We have the d file open and all of our pieces are good while white uh, should spend a few tempers to develop his light squared bishop and make castle. Trap number four, elegant defense trap. This is what I definitely recommend you to play if you play e4 and uh, black uh, replies with knight f6. So e5, knight uh, d5, d4. This is the main line, d6. Knight f3 is considered to be the strongest continuation here. However, some people play c4, but uh, I kindly recommend you to play this move. And in this position, of course, black has several options. And uh, if you want to learn how to play this opening, you should watch one of my webinars where I uh, demonstrated. Uh, I just wanna show you a trap that I actually applied myself with um, international master. When I played a game against him, he played knight c6. And then I replied with c4, knight b6, and e6. What's the idea? The idea is that if he takes with the bishop, then d5 is a fork, white gains a piece. If not, if he takes with the pawn, then just knight c3. And here he has two options, to play e5 or g6 to develop his pieces. If e5, then uh, d5, and there is nothing better than play knight d4 and sacrifice the pawn back. And of course, by looking at this position, uh, you can notice that white gains the space. Uh, white is developed better, the knight on b6 is not doing much, and uh, black king can be weak. So here, queen e4, bishop e7, bishop d3 attacking on h7. However, in my game against this master, it was g6, another uh, typical idea for elegant defense. Then h4, strong move with the idea to play h5. Bishop g7, uh, here I made a mistake in that game, but the best continuation is bishop e3, because the, the only plan for black is to play e5, otherwise he can be checkmated on the king side. e5, d5, and again, uh, knight b8 or knight uh, b4 is a mistake here, is a strategical mistake. That's why knight d4 is the best continuation. Then we trade the material and of course by looking at this position uh, you may uh, notice that white is better. I can't say that much better but at least there is a strong attack and nothing to worry about. As for the castle, white can castle to the queen side. Actually, uh, this uh, strategy can be applied, the, uh, this trap, I mean the e6 move can be applied even if bishop g4 is played. Bishop g4, bishop e2, and if knight c6 now, then e6 can be played immediately. Because if bishop e6, we do the same thing, c4, knight goes anywhere, let's say even here, then this move, and bishop e5 doesn't really work, for example, castle, knight c2, d takes e6, he takes here, we capture the pawn, rook b8, and after knight d4, this knight just can't escape and we get two minor pieces uh, for a rook. Uh, so uh, the knight on b1 is not hanging, uh, because then we play knight c6 and gain his rook on b8. If instead he captures with the pawn, it's still okay. Then castle, queen g7, c4, knight goes to f6, knight c3, g6, bishop a3, and uh, white has a compensation for the pawn sacrifice. And another trap, a trap number five, a trap in Scandinavian defense. If you play e4, I, you may keep it in mind. e4, d5, it takes d5, queen d5, knight c3, 
there are several moves queen a5 queen d6 queen d8 but if queen d8 d4 and uh, people who are not experienced in this position so i would say club players of intermediate level or beginners uh, they would play something like that uh, the move that attacks the pawn on d4 then knight f3 bishop g4 d5 and uh, knight e5 for example and this is a mistake why because here white can sacrifice the queen by taking on e5 bishop d1 bishop b5 check queen d7 uh, means that uh, he loses a queen that's why c6 however d takes c6 there is no better move than a6 if so c7 check a takes b5 c takes d8 rook takes on d8 then after knight d1 we have extra piece the position is winning absolutely however instead of playing uh, knight e5 in this position he can also do bishop takes f3 then i recommend you g takes on f3 a very clever move because after knight e5 bishop f4 then if knight g6 after bishop b5 he loses so f6 should be played now then just queen e2 who is the idea to capture only five or play queen b5 then castle so here white dominates with a bishop pair and of course gains the material trap number six a trap in french defense e4 e6 d4 d5 knight c3 or knight d2 uh, and if here black captures on e4 and knight takes on e4 uh, then uh, here knight f6 knight d7 are typical moves however bishop d7 uh, sometimes is played so the idea of this move is to develop the bishop to c6 because usually a light squared bishop in uh, french defense is a bad piece that's why the idea to develop it earlier makes sense knight f3 bishop c6 now bishop d3 knight f6 and now white just captures on f6 this is a check queen takes f6 a logical move but bishop g5 and the queen has no squares to move but he may take on f3 with hope that here queen takes so queen g5 of course doesn't work because uh, b7 is hanging here but uh, he may take on f3 then g takes f3 and the position is approximately equal but instead of taking his bishop on f3 we can just play queen d2 and then uh, white uh, re black realizes that his queen is trapped he can only capture on d4 but then discover it attack and the queen dies if black makes a theoretical move knight d7 castle knight g6 queen e2 knight takes e4 bishop e4 bishop takes e4 queen e4 then c6 c4 and in this position white is slightly better because of better development and more space and finally number seven trap in dragon variation of sicilian defense uh, this trap is for black so if you play for black and you're trying to trap your opponent especially if he misses the move order e4 c5 knight f3 knight c6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 so uh, in dragon variation usually instead of knight c6 black plays d6 but here it's uh, knight c6 uh, makes it more sense it, it creates a threat and at the same time it doesn't do anything wrong uh, it's not a normal dragon it's accelerated variation of dragon g6 knight c3 bishop g7 bishop e3 knight f6 f3 then we castle well usually uh, this position happens with d6 move and then bishop c4 and everything is okay for white but we can save a temper and uh, just castle here and if now he plays bishop c4 then after queen b6 we are taking b2 and d4 for example bishop b3 knight takes e4 if f takes e4 we uh, just gain here bishop d4 uh, queen takes if queen takes d4 
he takes here and knight takes on d4 we have extra pawn and a better position after knight d4 he of course can play knight d5 a strong move queen a5 checks c3 then knight goes back to f6 he captures on c6 and then takes on e7 uh, but uh, this position is approximately equal so you see black can equalize the position in such a similar way and of course uh, white has to play properly if not then he'll be down a pawn and of course knight f5 doesn't work while we already castled the king on g8 protects this bishop on g7 so here just queen b2 is fine knight g7 is not a check just queen c3 and uh, white loses the game immediately so if you play dragon variation try to play accelerated uh, variation of dragon and instead of d6 play castle because then you can uh, force him into this trap queen he's not playing bishop c4 for example he does something else then you can just play d6 and uh, transpose the position to the original line of dragon variation in this video you learned seven best chess opening traps proven and tested 2020 thank you for watching it Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends, chess players, so they can learn these traps as well. However, I want you to remember that making opening traps is not enough to get the advantage in the opening stage of the game. If you want to get an opening advantage and force your opponent to defend starting from the first moves, you should play aggressive openings. If you want to learn, top aggressive chess openings that I apply in my games. Watch the video on the screen next and I'll see you there in a moment.